What up guys, your boy Kavis, and we're back with another one. Today I'm going to share my knowledge to make you a better player at Ravenbound. I will show all the tips and tricks I've learned over the past couple days that make this much easier game. I will show full gameplay of how I run through the game grabbing mana and beating bosses. Let's go ahead and get into it guys. Let's have a random class going, let's do it. Alright. So as soon as we start, instead of going anywhere, you want to fly straight down to the tutorial area. And what we're looking for are these vases. As you can see, the vases, vases, urns, whatever you want to call them. We're going to hang out here and break as many as we can until we hit like 50 points. I think uh, a little over 50 is the max that you can get. Now, I have tried to stay and break everything in this area. And there are a lot of these uh, to break 50. But I usually set around like 50 to 58 coins. I have not hit 60 or anything higher. Uh... Yeah, the lowest I've had is like 42, but that's because I just did a mad dash and just grabbed some things and moved on. So as you see, we just want to run around. They're literally everywhere. Don't worry about these enemies. We don't have to deal with them. We're just here for the coins. Boom, boom. Slide into them. Let's see. How many do we have? We're at 52, so that's pretty good. That's that's. If we're going to get more coins, it's going to be like two or three more coins. That's not worth it. All you really need is 50, and we can use that to grab health. So now that we have the coins, we're going to take off. We're going to fly out. And what we're going to fly to is that right there, the little blue icon. We're not going to worry about any of these right now. We're just going to fly straight to that. That's what you need to do. As soon as you start, you get the coins, and then you go straight to the blue icon. All right. Now we're approaching the blue icon. Let's drop in. These enemies are always really easy, usually. I've never had any problems. I always start with a heavy attack. What you want to do is chain heavies into lights. You get more damage out of the heavies into lights. As you can see, I'm just spamming light attack right now. Now you can, if you want to do combat, you can just spam uh, heavy attacks. And it keeps them staggered. But as you can see, we're not doing that much damage. We're doing staggered. Now watch when I switch to light attacks. Look at the health bar, how it changes. Look how much damage we do. So stagger first and then switch to light attacks. You're going to get massive damage. It works with all weapon types. Now we've done this. Make sure you grab both of these fragments. And then come here. Boom. There's five mana. Now after every boss, these will replenish. Or there's a new one of these. And it always goes up by two. So after we beat the next boss or the first boss... We'll go do the next one, and it'll have seven. And then the next boss will have nine, and so on and so forth. And it just keeps giving you more and more mana. As you can see at the top, we just started. We're like, what? We're <laughs> two minutes into the game, not even. And we have 50 coins, which is good for health, and we're buying another slot. And we already have five mana. Now, from here, what we're going to do is go up. We're going to find a little spot to fly or turn into a little birdo. And what we're looking for... It's not that. These guys aggro. We might not be able to fly. I'll show you what we're looking for. So around the, the area that we're currently at where you can get the mana, there's going to be these camps. There's usually anywhere from two to four. Uh, most often, I find like two or three, but there's usually four. So see this camp right here, how it has white? Now, we don't have to worry about hatred because I have to see that white line. So what we want to do is immediately come do this camp. Remember heavy attack starting off, and then light attack. Get a dodge in there. Also, I'll show the parry. So the parry makes you invuln for like two seconds. I don't know if you all noticed that. You don't have to keep spamming parry. You can just come in and do whatever you want. Get rid of this person, hold heavy, dive in. Heavy again, and then light attacks. See, this is a juggernaut that we're shredding right now. Hold dodge. Nice. Hold heavy. Come in. Boom. If you want, we can spam heavy to stagger this person again. And then go right back in the light attacks. Done and done. Now what we want to do is take this fragment. Hold up on the D-pad. Go ahead and get our cards. Pick whatever we want. Hmm. These probably about the same. These a little bit cheaper. This will hold up more if we get better. We'll grab this for now. Slot that. Boom, we're at 18. Grab that. And now you can see we can grab this. There's no hatred on this chest. 
we have minimal hatred build up on our bar down at the bottom right. Boom, we got more cards. And these nine times out of 10 have mana. This is how you get mana a lot easier. So boom, there's mana. Now we're back up to three mana, just like that. Now what we want to do is go back to a flying position and we're going to scout the area for at least one to two more of these camps that have the lights. Now these lights can be white, they can be blue, uh, they can resemble a sword. Uh, you can get all kinds of good gear. So they'll look like that, right? So remember, we're next to this and this is usually where the, the lighted areas are. Here we are again, see? Look how close that is. So we're just drop down here and fight again. Start with heavy. Throw back into heavies and switch it up to lights. Boom, person's already dead. Start with heavy, boom. Light, light, dodge, light, dodge. Boom, 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 dead. Start with heavy. Ooh, heavy again. Dodge, dodge. Heavy again, boom. Make sure you chain your light or your heavies into your lights every time. You want to be weaving uh, different abilities or different attacks. You get so much more damage instead of just spamming light attack or just spamming heavy attack. Now, as you can see, we can go ahead and do cards again. So let's just hold up. Right now I have a perk that doesn't allow me to wear armor. So I'm actually going to take this because it's going to increase my uh, health. <laughs> don't, don't run this perk. This, we just picked a random class, so it's whatever. So boom, now I have more health. I'm at 330 health. No armor though. And now we have a chest that has no hatred on it again. And boom, there you have mana again. These, like I said, nine times out of 10, these have mana in them. I have, honestly, uh, as, as many runs as I've done, I've never done one where I haven't come across these that didn't have mana to be chosen in it. Always, always mana. All right. And then rinse and repeat, we find another flight path. And try to see if we can find at least one more of these. If not, then we'll move on. Here's around here. This is what I'm talking about. See how it kind of looks like a sword? Now, this is going to be dangerous. These things are dangerous. Let's look around a little bit, and then we'll come back to this. We're 100% going to do that. But let's look around and see if there's a little bit easier ones. And then blue. Uh, boom. Blue sword. So, in total, there's four. I'm going to fly up the path to see if there's five. I've never seen five before. No, that's, that's a hatred chest. All right, so... For sure, there's four. And they're right next to where we were just at. So we'll come in on these guys. Whoa. Once again, heavy into light attack. Into heavy. Light attack. Heavies again. Light attack. Anytime they're down. Heavy again. And we're using spammy weapons, so we're going to get our health back fairly. Whoa. Sometimes camera angle is a little rough. Remember, we're in Vuln for like a couple seconds when we parry. You don't have to keep parrying. <laughs> nice. Boom, boom. They're done. Make sure we grab the fragments. I don't know where the other fragment went. Did they get knocked off? I don't have my headset on. You can usually, there's a sound cue for them, but I can't hear it. Whatever. I'm going to grab this. Boom. Mana. Again. <laughs> Just, it's that easy. We're already back up to seven mana. Make sure you always grab this. As you can see at the bottom, the more we build up, or the more we, we kill and use those down at the bottom right, uh, the more uh, hatred we'll build. But it's a lot slower hatred build up versus actually grabbing the, um, the chest of hatred. So now we're just gonna go over this last one. Now these things can be very tricky and annoying. Uh, if you play this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These and the uh, the Draugr are some of the more annoying creatures. The trolls are okay, because you can kind of bait them out. So we're going to charge a heavy. They, these people have to teleport a lot. Okay, this going to be dangerous. Here we go. Like I said, these, you're usually pretty easy. Even these characters that are uh, insane. Keep in mind, we have no armor on. So when we're getting hit, we're actually getting hit hard. If you were playing this, you would not take the passive that I have, and you would have more armor. Oh man, they're doing electric attacks on us, let's see. <laughs> Just die. 
Jesus, so tanky. I feel like something that, that needs to change in this game. Some of the enemies are just so tanky early on. It, it doesn't make sense, but that's okay. I'm sure they'll look at that in the future. Look at that, just spammed. Hold up. Let's see what we have. Uh, we'll take the luck. We'll attach that to us. A little luck never hurts. Grab that. Somebody died here, and now look, we have the gold piece. Arm acquired, hatred free. And more mana. We'll take the mana. Now we're back up to 10 mana. It, with ease. Right now, that boss fight was a little bit harder, or whatever, but it's a lot easier just to grab mana from the other camps. You don't have to do all the camps you don't want to. It's not needed. Now what we're going to do is find another flight path. And all we're going to do is go around and do like easier camps, right? The ones with like the little, like this, like this would be an easier camp. We're just going to defeat these enemies and build up our bottom bar here to the right. Remember, always start with heavy, going to light, heavy, and light. The person's already dead. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Heavy, light. Look how much damage you do with your lights. It's insane, right? So heavy. Oh, this guy's going to be special. Now he's on the ground. Look at that. It's insane damage. We don't care. We're just poise tanking. We're using the uh, the, duels, the dual axes. I mean, they're busted. These and the, the dual swords are busted. So now we're going to hold up again. See what we have. Multi-strike could be nice. Oh, this is perfect. So anytime you see one of these... This is pretty much, you want to grab this. You want this in your inventory somewhere, all right? You need this. It just works. Anytime we break down or uh, combine the crystals, this gives us one point of mana. So that's worth having. So now that that's filled, let's fly off. And what we want to do is fly to town. We're not going to worry about any of these right now. And what we want to do in town is uh, get a side mission. What the side mission is going to do is allow us to go do one of these camps. It's usually an easier camp. And uh, they give you 100 gold coins. So that's just more money to be had. We're going to look for the side mission. Should be right there, yeah. There it is. Talk to this person. Accept quest. Expelling the nightmare. I'm going to heal here. So I have 50 coins right now. It's going to heal. It's going to heal me up. So we're out of coins. We should have uh, two coins left, I think. Let's see, yeah. But we're gonna go do the mission. It's gonna give us 100 coins. It'll be at 102. So if we want, we can heal again or we can buy an extra item slot for 50 gold. All right, what do we have? Draugr, lovely. Okay, Draugr are annoying, to say the least. Bait them out with big heavies. You can just spam heavies on these guys because they rarely stagger. Now that I have that, I'm just going to light in with the light, light attacks. One draw her down. Parried. Now we're in bone for a bit. Whoa, what's happening? Alright, we're in bone. Just spamming right bumper. Boom, big hits. Hold the trigger. Boom, staggered. Done. Draugr, easy. And they give this perk. Can I grab that? Try not to touch the hatred. Now that's done. There's usually, you go and fight something or there's an item here that you need to find. We don't need to do that right now, it seems, so it's good. So we'll find it. We're not gonna touch any of this. We're not gonna touch the hatred at all. I never touch the hatred when I play this game. My first like 10 runs, I was full hatred everywhere I went, but now I never touch hatred. So we're gonna find a flight path and we're gonna head back and turn the mission in. Now we're back, we're just gonna drop the mission off. Boom, gives us some money. As you see, we're back up to 102 coins and we have seven mana. If we want, we can buy another slot and slot something. Now look at the bottom right of my screen. Oh, it's gone now. When we start fighting over here, we will. You're gonna look at the bottom right of my screen in my meter. See, we're very close to the first one being uh, hatred. What we're gonna do is fight these smaller camps until that goes full hatred, and then we're gonna to move to the boss. Heavy. 
Okay, we're in bone, so we're just gonna spam light attack. Normally you wouldn't take the juggernaut out first, you would save the juggernaut for last. But it doesn't matter. Just slapping. Heavy. Boom. Okay, grab this. Hold up on the D-pad. Let's see, critical chance. I might do crit chance. Sounds nice. Okay, we can't play that yet. And now as you see at the bottom right, it's locked. So what I'm going to do is head back to town. I'm gonna buy a slot because we have 50 coins. We have 100 coins. A slot, extra slot is 50 coins. And if I want, I could top off my health by spending the other 50 coins. But we're at 248 health. Uh, normally you start with uh, 200 health. I think we're okay. So now we're here, we're gonna come to this vendor right here. Talk to them, buy a slot, boom. And equip this. Now it puts us at 25% crit chance, which is nice, right? And if we want, we can top off our health. What I would suggest doing, since we don't have any uh, crystals right now, let's hit one more small camp, get two crystals, and then after the boss, we only need one crystal to get a deck of cards. Maybe attack into the lights, parry. Now we're in bone for a couple seconds. Boom, done. Now two crystals. Let's see, where's the other one? Now our crystals are maxed out because we can't get a third. We're not going to hit up on the D-pad because we do not want to give the boss a buff. So now we're just going to find a flight path and we're going to head straight to the boss door. All right, guys, as you know, all the bosses are pretty much shown here with all the red pillars of light. And if you don't know where that is, after you do the side mission, you reach your first little bar of hatred, which I was showing you, uh, just follow the blue icon. We're coming to the boss door. The bosses in this game can be a little rough at times. I feel like <laughs> they go a little berserk too much. Oop. But, uh, you know, the way that we're set up right now, we're decently buff. So it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Dodging, if you're going to use two-handed weapons like this or uh, dual weapons, dodging ends up being better than parrying. Alright, get some hits in. Okay, the hitbox is kind of annoying. I'm just spamming uh, light attacks. I'm not doing heavies. Heavies will make them stagger faster, but light attacks come out much faster and we're getting big damage from them. You literally just spam and dodge at any time. Sometimes the hitbox is a little off like that, which is very annoying. So right now he's staggered. We're going to hold heavy. As soon as he comes out, we're going to hit back. See, we're just diving around and beating on him. Okay, watch out. Just stay right on the boss's face. You give him space to think, and they'll just beat your ass. Just like Dark Souls. Stay on him. Boom. Boss done. Very, very easy. Just keep dodging. You can literally spam dodge and attack if you want. It, it's not much to that. Just watch out for the back swings on them because some of these bosses' hitboxes are just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Now it's first boss down. We get to pick our next door. And pretty much all you're going to do is rinse and repeat uh, everything I just showed you. Pick any of the doors you want. Uh, let's do this one. Now the only thing you're not gonna do this time is go down through here. You're not gonna get any more coins for that. So what you're gonna do is just fly straight on to the blue icon. Now we're here, let's fall in. Don't know what we're fighting. Draugr, we know how to deal with these guys when we heavies. Back off, let him do his thing. Heavy in, parry, spam. Just got the hands, let him know you mean business. Parry. We're beating on the juggernaut. It was the wrong choice. <laughs> we shouldn't be fighting the juggernaut first. We should get rid of this idiot first. 
Heavy attack. And if you want, you can spam heavy and just keep staggering these guys. It's that easy. Look, I'm literally just spamming heavy. If that's how you want to cheese them, you can just cheese them like that. Look, no thought process at all. Now that's done. Make sure you grab this little item right here. Boom. Let's go ahead and hit up on the D-pad because we already had two from before the boss. The boss got rid of our hatred. Pick anything you want from here. Uh, I'm probably not going to use any of these. Maybe that one. We'll hold on to that. We have seven mana. We're going to get seven mana from this, so it'll put us at 14. Now we have 14 mana and 50 coins. And what we're going to do now is rinse and repeat, like I said before. It's going to go up, go out. Look for the camps around us that have like the shining light. Do those. And before we max out our hatred at the bottom, make sure you go over there and grab the side quest to get a hundred more coins. And you literally just rinse and repeat over and over and over. And you can beat this game in no time. Anyways, guys, pretty much sums it up. Hope this was able to help you all. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps this channel out a lot and helps me out a lot. And I will continue to make content on this in the future i'm enjoying the game even though it's gotten some uh, some hate i'm having a good ass time with it anyways you guys have a great time and i will see you in the future later guys